guys, let's try and do all 50 must do things in Ishigaki Island, Japan. I'm your flashy fashion girl, Kathy Cat, and in the latest video, we actually did some crazy fun adventures in Japan. Let's continue the hunt and find more must do things on this tropical island of Japan. Don't forget to hit the like button and let's travel Japan together. wondered why there are so many happy black cows freely roaming on the island, Ishigaki Island is famous for high-class Japanese beef. We did some research and found a place that is famous for beef noodle soup. We are starting off with a breakfast of champions. Gyu soba means beef soba, and this local restaurant is a famous must-try spot. They have tons of other dishes too. We decided to go big this time. The director ordered their famous beef noodles and I went all out and got their big and bold stamina bowl with tons of different types of meat. The meat of the gyu soba comes in big chunks and is more lean but super tender. The high salt content in the soup is just perfect when you sweat a lot in hot temperatures. What makes this one here special? Wow. It's like really thick, strong beef broth. That's sure to replenish your energy as well. Ooh, that was tasty, but be sure to bring a big appetite because their portions are big. Mm. All right, here we are at the Emerald Green Sea View Point. I have not had a look down yet, but I'm quite excited. <sighs> look at the blooming hibiscus. That's my favorite flower and it's all over the island. All right, I've tried not to look at the view yet and only look at my feet the entire time coming up here. All right, let's see. You can see so far! In the first video, we mentioned that Ishigaki Island is so small that you can get around the island in a few hours by car. From this observation point, you can see almost the entire island unfold around you. The contrast of the green island, the glittering houses and the turquoise sea is a sight to behold. The tourists going there mentioned that the island has a spot where cat lovers assemble, so we decided to go. And here we've come to another observation deck. Now this one doesn't only have a beautiful view right over the sea, but it also has a story and a secret. So why are there so many cats at this area of the island? This area is an artificial islet of Ishigaki Island. More than about 100 cats are living here. They are doing their best to survive the hot climate and the seasonal changes. Even though it is considered a crime to abandon pets in Japan, it is still a very big and real problem where pet shops are at every corner and sell pets like convenient products. Many of the cats here found shelters and some volunteers are taking them in, but there are still too many cats without a home. That is why this part is considered the island's cat island. 
the area got popular among cat lovers who come here to look after the cats and play with them, but the ones who are responsible for this are also the humans themselves. I hope someone will take care of them and they will get the happy life that they deserve. At Cat Island, I was told about another high viewpoint for animal lovers. For this, we are driving up higher into the mountains. This building, shaped like an egg, is actually a bird watch tower. Bird watchers and tourists come here at all times of the day to check the view and see if they can spot some rare birds. Now look at that! The bird watcher next to me told me that the viewpoints at Ishikaki Island are great because there are no skyscrapers on the island obstructing the view. Stargazing is also super famous in Ishikaki Island. There is a spectacular tour for watching the stars, so now that the sun has set, let's head there next. Look at these stars! We've come to the Ishigaki Island Hilltop Stargazing Tour and it's on top of the Shooting Star Hill because this is one of the areas we have the most beautiful view of the stars and it's magical around us. There are no lights and we only hear the sound of the tropical insects and creatures and we're in for a real treat. There's going to be a tour and there's going to be a performance and I could even see some cozy places for us to sit. So I'm really looking forward to this experience. It's gonna be so romantic. Everyone in the tour gets their own hammock to lie comfortably down in. The instructor will tell us facts and stories about the stars. There are also some stars you can only see from this hemisphere. Because there is no light pollution on this side of the island, the moon and the stars will be so clear and bright, it is really special and romantic. It was super soothing and distressing too. Optionally, a pro cameraman will use a special camera and lens to take photos of you with the stars behind. It's so pretty, it looks almost unreal. I gotta admit, I am tearing up a bit here. You can hear the sounds of the tropical insects and cicadas at night, far away the ocean and the wind. While gazing at the stars, a musician will play some traditional Okinawan music on a special instrument. Better than any relaxation music, this is the real deal and truly unforgettable. What was your favorite place that we showed you in this video? Comment now down below and don't forget to leave a like and share it with a friend you want to go there with. Our challenge to do all 50 must-do things in Ishigaki Island continues in the next video.